here's part two of this plastic jewelry container from the Salvation Army. It was uh, $14.99, less 10% uh, discount. And it weighed four pounds, what, four pounds, 13 ounces. Um, so there's quite a lot of jewelry here in a very light uh, plastic container. Um, I uh, had to split the first video um, earlier than I expected, so there's kind of a rough intro here, but I'm sure that you'll be able to pick up where we left off. This, this is the thing I saw from outside, and I said I would probably take that leathery stuff off, whatever that was, the vinyl stuff. Well, guess what this is? Just what you need to find in a jewelry jar or container. It's a belt, a big, heavy belt, size small, intact, of course, very wearable. Um, if my granddaughter were here, I'm sure she would have stolen it already to wear. So I may just offer it to her because I don't know if any of the ladies at the gratis shop would you know, would want to wear this. It's kind of heavy. It's it's young people who are nice and slim and like bling, blingy, shiny things. They could wear that. Okay, so here's an interesting bracelet. It's... This is like a, I don't know, painted wire, maybe? Or rubber covered wire? And silver tone wire? And then this is, this is the, uh, well, it goes up and curls into this. So they're, they're, the silver tone is, and then the black goes made to go through it to make it firm. So here's this outside piece and this outside piece come up curl around into that figure eight with the swirls and then the blacks and the other pieces are added and then they're just wrapped at the end well we could all make one of these if we really got our set our mind to it that might be nice just to keep just to, to try to duplicate it i used to do that when i was a kid well more like when i was a teenager find things that were ne really neat and then try to make them let's see if i could duplicate it so that's a nice bracelet Here's a, another bracelet with a barrel clasp, the slightly stringy, just little lightweight plastic beads with a little bit of an aurora borealis tinge to them. Here's a sort of sea foam stretchy bracelet and another one slightly smaller. So there's a pair, the two sizes, a gold tone. Not much stretch. I wouldn't want to, I would worry that one would break. This is another one with a barrel clasp. Looks like these two are meant to go together. And they would, they complement each other, but they're good for kids though too, or anybody who doesn't want precious metals. This one doesn't have a clasp and it would look much nicer if it did, because that looks pretty raw and ugly. But those are interesting little sort of, sort of cat's eye beads with seed beads. This one's nice. It's glass, more glass beads. Barrel clasp again. Um, nice faceted beads with the uh, silver, so the gray faceted with the silver. A couple of different beads here, I guess, to make it longer, give it a little more interest. Um, another set of pearls on uh, barrel clasp. Yeah, it probably matches those other ones that we found earlier. And then this bracelet. This is something I saw from the outside, and uh, it doesn't look vintage. It looks, but then, it, you know, I suppose it could be vintage, and it's just been hiding away in, in a box somewhere. But basically, this is a Ten Commandments bracelet. Each little uh, plaque here has one of the commandments. There's no wear on it. I don't think anybody's ever worn it, or if they wore it, maybe they wore it once. So I th there is a Pocahontas Timex watch. That's not too bad looking. I mean, it's got a plastic band that could be washed. Disney Pocahontas probably just needs a battery. So there's a potential watch. Here's uh, something I saw from outside the... Uh, the container, it's one of those uh, bands that you use to hold your sleeves up so they don't get all dirty. 
It's got some kind of little thing on there. I don't know if that's a maker's mark or if it's just a... Can you focus it? Oh, it almost focused. Now nah, there's nothing on there. Just a little disc. Okay. You really need two of these if you're going to have fun with those. Here's... What is this? Dei Grazia 1783 Carolus III Charles III Oh There's it Copy <laughs> Well I didn't think I had anything really valuable But it's interesting And what does it say here? Hispan, so Spain, oh, Hispan and Indrex. Um, what does that say up there? JTNS. Interesting. Hispan and Indrex. King of what? Spain and something? I guess I'll look that up and, and translate properly for you. Carolus III. It's a copy of a big coin. I don't know what to do with that. Put it on a wind chime? That would make a good uh, clinger thingy. Well, you never know what you're going to find in a jewelry jar. Oh, this is pretty. Oh, I like this. It's a Christmas tree. There's its trunk. It actually is a trunk. And I thought it was just like evergreen with a bow. And decorations, but Avon, let me, this is nice. This is very nice. Avon 2004, first annual. Oh, so they, their first annual Christmas pin? I'll have to look that up. That's nice. I would keep that and wear that. Oh, a bunch of bracelets. I wonder why there's so many of these little bracelets in here. I wonder if somebody was making them. I'm just, I'm pulling a whole bunch of them out here. So we have this one. Again, plastic. Lovely. Uh, turquoise aquamarine colored beads. Come on, focus, focus, focus. Um, lobster claw clasp. Black plastic with little seed beads. Focus, 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 blue. This one is stretchy, doesn't have uh, doesn't have a clasp. These two are stretchy, not as much, but have clasps. Here's another one with a... You know what, I gotta move this stuff further back because it wants to keep getting in the camera. Let's try this, because it might be better. Okay, that's better. So, uh, sort of clear. With the clasp, stretchy, pretty rose-colored pearls, purple with a clasp. Oh, and a couple of nice plastic beads there. And I think of this, this is not quite bubblegum pink, but it's bubblegum pink with like Aurora Borealis on it and a clasp. So one... That's got to be at least a dozen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, it must have almost, there's got to be at least close to two dozen of these bracelets. I wonder why. There you go. There's a, you got to look at all of them. Oh, I have to figure out what to do with those. might be good for like grab bags for kids' uh, birthday parties. Here's a big pin. On the back it says, Rito. 1986, Royal Canadian Air Cadets. Oh, somebody's Air Cadet pin. We'll have to look that up and see if Rideau 1986 is, uh, if that's a date for when it was made. Interesting. Here's a pin. Is this, looks like, there's the, oh, what's this called? The Cadius for medicine. And is it winged mercury? And a B for victory? I don't know. 
I'm making it up as I go along. I'll have to look this up and see if I can figure out what it represents. This is big. Well, I remember stuff like this from the 80s, but it's still got its tag on it. I don't, I'll have to look up and see if I can see what this represented. The v, two V's, am something, by, imported by Peninsula, Peninsula 7, comma S, made in the Philippines, I think. Who knows? Something Juarez. So, uh, lobster claw clasp, gold painted wooden beads. These big chunks are acrylic or plastic. Very cool marble look. And then plastic, metal, and gold and black painted discs. Well, that's a, a good long necklace. Um, let's see. A 30, I would say 36 inches. There's the whole thing. They're a wearable condition. I can't imagine anybody ever wore it with this tag still stuck on it. Um, so that's uh, something to, to donate. Here's, oh, the red dress um, in the U.S. I know these uh, usually have a heart on them. Yeah, there's the heart up at the top for Women's Heart Health Month. Um, and this one is, what does it say? Trademark. So, um, in Canada, last week we had uh, Red Dress Day for in honor of the missing and murdered Indigenous women and girls. Um, oh, another lobster claw clasp. I saw so many in the jar, and it's unusual to see this many lobster claw clasps. But this is a nice snake chain. And look at this very pretty cross. Look at how nice those rhinestones are. I wonder if I can, there you go. Look at that, isn't that pretty? Great sparkle. Looks like we're missing one over here. But hey, you know me, rhinestone queen, I'll replace it. Um, no markings, it's not precious metal, I'm sure. But uh, very wearable. Uh, at least 18 inch chain so uh, a little repair and that'll be great gotta find a repair pile this is all the put all the weird unusual stuff up there what is this this looks like hmm okay it's not very long so it's got to be a bracelet oh it's cup chain gold cup chain how many strands? One, two, three, four, five, six, ten. Ten strands of gold cup chain of rhin cup chain rhinestone chain. And they're just soldered into together at the big the each end here into a fold over clasp. No, no maker's mark. Clasps open nicely. Oh, there's a very nice bracelet. Very nice. I think these always look so classy on, like they look, they they up the bling factor very quickly. I guess I could go zoom down. Yeah, they up the bling factor. Another bracelet. Oh, here's another bracelet. Um, stretchy bracelet, not bad shape. Plastic beads and then chain. So these, if you want you can take this apart and then you have usually have a nice piece of chain to use, reuse for something um probably not well probably not worth the, the while to do that but another bracelet um here's a pair of earrings i think we found the first one i put it aside so here's a pair of hoop earrings they kind of look coppery it's hard to tell yeah maybe it's the maybe they were gold tone but the colors changing or are they maybe supposed to be more closer to rose gold a pair of earrings here's a cute heart pin nice enameling and all the rhinestones are there 
not marked in any way. Here's a keychain. The spinning Canada. Oh, it's not, it doesn't spin really easily. Okay. So it's a Canada maple leaf. And it's got a howling wolf. And I don't know why there's a, a little red maple leaf there. But there's a, a keychain in good shape. If anybody needs a keychain, let me know. Um, oh, here's a pair of earrings. This is unusual. I don't think I've ever seen a pair like this. A very lightweight. Just some stamped metal. There's a nice little texture so they kind of look like more than they are. So a second pair of earrings. So we've actually found three pair of earrings from the top to the middle of the jar. This, what is this? This is... Oh, little uh, crosses, and I thought they were maybe supposed to be like ribbons, but I think they're just a cross and rhinestones. Let's see. Trying to make sure that all the rhinestones are there. Let's see if there's any mark. Oh, there's something on the back here. Let's see if we can. On the back of the clasp, it says... Avon! There we go. Turn it around this way. Very nice. So not 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 uh not really worn. Just a little cleaning. Very nice bracelet. Let's make sure the clasp works. Clasp works just fine. Very pretty. Very delicate. Oh, I like that. That's very nice. And yet another lobster claw clasp stringy necklace. This one has, these are glass at the down here at the center, but the rest of them are plastic. So that's interesting. Well, it gives, at least it gives it some weight. Um, so those are glass beads and the rest are plastic and uh, barrel clasp. Quite a variety of things in here now. Here, the first part of the jar, we found this, and I'm pretty sure that goes with it because it's supposed to look like one of those other earrings. That And so maybe the other pieces for the second earring will be in the jar. Who knows? Who knows? And a bunch of pins here. Let's see. We got four different pins. We've got one that says Class of 94. PCI, a 100 years of excellence. Something Collegiate Institute? I'm guessing, I'm guessing, I'm guessing. On the back here it says. That's where I have to take my glasses off for looking at the fine print. Lori, something Chicago, something Taiwan. So just, I'm sure the makers will have to, I'm not sure I'm going to bother looking that up. There's this one. 13 MTN and a scared cat. If you know what that means, let me know. <laughs> like a fright night of some sort. Uh, a fleur de lis pin. And... Here's a little Manitoba buffalo pin in a uh, little plastic container. So that's unusual. You don't, I don't often get a lot of pins. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven lapel pins so far in this jar. And a little bit of chain. So here's a... A good looking watch. The band is uh, worn out, but it just pulls right out. I think I'll do that and throw it out. Um, nice looking quartz watch now. Oh, maybe this is broken. So it might not be worth keeping at all. Here's another watch. Again, uh, I don't know what's. Somebody had things stuck on the band. Um, it's got the piece there. This is a little better shape in terms of the uh, band, though there's a, a part there broken. 
another quartz watch. Yet another quartz watch. Uh, one probably just needs the, the band cleaned. Another quartz watch. Uh, the band's broken. Oh, this one's still working. So that's working watch needs a band. I thought there were only four band, four watches that I could see in the jar, but obviously I was wrong. This is oh, this is kind of cool. It the the rhinestones move around, and again a quartz watch, Japan movement. Um, needs a new band. Needs a new battery. Um, and then a Timex Expedition Indiglo obviously needs a battery. Bands, pretty good shape except for right here. Somebody must have had a really small wrist or whatever that used these because of where they're uh, all, uh, all, they're all worn. But, uh, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then the... This one, eight. That's a lot of watches. Oh, well. We got some sterling. We're okay. And then, oh, and then the other earring. So, we can end off here, I think, with this, this earring. Has all the pieces. This earring just is missing the rings that hold it all together and the ear wire. So, there's another pair of earrings.